Okay, so here we have a transformer set up, and I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit so you can see the different parts. There's two sets of coils. Thank you. One has 200 turns of wire, and the other one has 100 turns. And then there's this steel bar that runs all the way through both of them. And that's just to help increase the magnetic field. And then we have the voltmeter set up to measure voltage. So that's going to be the 200 turn side. And then the other one is for the 100 turn side. And we have this set up to produce alternating current. So we aren't using the meter on the power supply. All right. So when we close the switch, you'll immediately hear it start to hum. And that's because it's the current's changing 60 times a second. And if we look at the 200 turn voltage, it's 8. And if we look at the 100 turn voltage, it's 4. So what's happening is this is stepping down the voltage. And if the voltage goes down, then the current has to go up in order to have a voltage drop. So this is called a step down transformer. And Mr. Lawrence got here. It's actually yours, Mr. Lee, right there. Yeah, my, my <laughs> iPod iPhone charger. And you notice that it, all it has is the plugs on the end. But if you look at the label, it's, uh, what does it say? It says that it can take in 120 volts. So if you plug it into your wall, you get 120 volts in. But it actually only outputs 5 volts. So like this transformer here, this would also be a step-down transformer because it's taking in 120 volts and it's actually putting out only 5 volts. So you need this to charge your phone because your phone can't take in 120 volts because it would fry the circuits inside there. So it takes in 120 and then it steps it down to 5 volts. And so what goes up then if the voltage is going down, what goes up? We'll pause the current. so we can answer at home. Voltage down, current goes up. Nice. Inversely related. So if we leave this plugged in, this little transformer, is that using electricity even when it's not have anything charging? This guy, even if you plug it into the wall and you don't have your phone on there, it's still going to be using electricity because it's still going to get slightly warm. And if you touch it, even when it's plugged in, it's still going to have heat, which means it's using electricity. So Mr. Lee, if you want to save electricity, what should you do? Pull it out of the uh, socket. So and what, what happens then is the side that's connected to the outlet which would be this side, even when it's in, it's still energizing this coil. So, and it's got to give off that, elect, that energy somehow, so it gives it off as heat. So you really should unplug your uh, chargers when you're done charging things. Transformers. Yeah, we'll watch Transformers. Not like the movie, but pretty close. Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs>